So you helped her load, right? Huh? You helped her load the stuff in the car. I didn't know anything was, what's it called? You didn't know she didn't pay for it. TJ Maxx, Target, Academy. Everything what? back here on that side has already been scanned in this program. Because you stole some, you've been you stole from Target and all that Target stuff. No, not that. She's been hitting everybody. Hey, Higgy, unlock your car. Come here, babe. Hey, how do you say your first name? I don't even know how. How do you say your first name? Clintoria. Clintoria. All right, I'm Detective Franco. I'm hot. Okay. You can put your feet out, but I want to talk. Can I please um, light my cigarette, please? Not right now. Hold on. I need to talk to you real quick. Okay. All right. So I want to talk to you about what happened and a couple other incidents. I tried to been trying to look for you. I put some business cards on your car the other day. Did you get those? Uh, I put them in like the windshield wiper. But anyway, like I said, I'm Detective Franco. I was working from home today, so that's why I'm dressed in shorts and a t-shirt. But uh, promise you, I work for the police department. So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning, if you wish one. If you decide to make a statement, you may stop at any time. Do you understand each of these rights I have explained to you? No. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? Can I please light my cigarette, please? Huh? Can I please light my cigarette? Not right now, but do you, do you wish to talk to me? Nothing I can say to me. Okay, well... All right, well... So I'm going to call somebody because they're going to bar you from Walmart because you tried to steal from them the other day. Here, I'll, sh I'll show you. Uh. Yeah. Uh-huh. We got, we got some of that. Yeah, I'll, I'll send y'all a picture. I'll send you a picture in a second. Yeah. Some cupcakes. Were they both in the store together putting stuff in the buggy? We haven't seen them in the store yet. We're trying to get the footage of like, the parking lot. All right. Goes. All right. Well, keep, keep seeing what you can develop. Okay. All right. Well, we're trying to watch video at Kroger to try to determine what happened there between y'all. That's what we're doing now. But let me show you. So I've been looking for you because let's see. This is your car. This is your car. I'm sorry, that's your car. Leaving Walmart. Let's see. Let me go to the picture. I know they got it back from you, but you tried, so that's still considered. Yeah, I was looking for my receipt. I didn't know. Where All right. Well, they're gonna bar you real quick, so let me call her. And then you've been at Target too, so you you, you stole three or four times from Target. Really? I'll show you. Hello. Hey, I'm gonna put her on the phone, okay? Hey, Emily, identify yourself. Tell her she's barred from Walmart for two years. Hey, my name's Emily. I work with Walmart Asset Protection. If you are barred from this property for two years, do not come back. And that's the Walmart where? On Lexington Road. You understand you're barred from the Walmart on Lexington Road for two years. If you go, they'll call me and you'll be arrested. All right, Emily, I'll take care of the rest. All right. All right. All right. So let me show you. So right here. It's clearly you. You've been in there a couple times, and then let's see, right there. That's not me. 
Well, that's your car. That's not me. That's not you right there? No, I am. Were you with somebody? Because that's your car they're using. I don't know. Somebody must have to be in my car and it's on. Okay, well, that one maybe not be you, but I'll get all that together. But go ahead and get back in real quick. So it's hot in this car. I feel like I'm about to pass out. Do you need, do you need an ambulance? Hey, Higgy, will you come over here with her? She's saying she needs an ambulance now. She says she's about to pass out. She didn't want to get in the car. Says she feels like she's about to pass out. I was about to take a picture. I kept hitting your number. So she put she pushed out. Hmm. Was he in the store with her? Mm. Yes. Let me know if you get him in there. All right. Bye. I wasn't. She's she's kind of all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take that because like this one and then these bags they just loaded it well, they just loaded it with random items and they, yeah, I'm gonna take this stuff because that the these mats weren't they were just sitting there, right? So we gotta take this stuff to Kroger and have them identify what's theirs. I mean that's the only way we have to. Can they have not a management come out here and get They can't scan it and determine if it's theirs. We're short people, ten eight test nine. Well, I mean, oh, they have a some, Kroger app on your phone, though. You can scan it. See what it is. Somebody has. I mean, there's no way we can charge them or take this stuff. You know what I mean? It has to. We have to be able to get an amount. Yeah. So we oh, know that me. we saw the gain. They saw the Pampers. All this other stuff's just kind of sitting on top. So most of this is probably Kroger stuff. But she doesn't want to talk. But she's been hitting everybody. Yeah, I would leave that stuff, and I'll, I'll try to determine where that crap came from. But the back in there? what? The bags? That that bag did, had junk in it. That one bag had like junk in it. Yeah, I'm not taking that one. But yeah, I'll take all this stuff and try to determine where it came from. Um, let me see if Michael's there. Yeah, if y'all got bags, I think the easiest way, take that stuff, just have them scan and see what's theirs. She's Radshaw says she's the one that pushed it out. He helped load. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to determine now if there's enough to charge him to. I know I know it's a pain, but there should be an app. I'm getting the app now. There should be a way for me. Well, if you can get the app, that'd be easy. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not sure they're using it. It seems like they were throwing everything in the car because the car was fully loaded. Yeah, this is all Target stuff.
um, sweatshirt off. So I'm gonna have to do that. And we're gonna have to unhook it. You want to talk about what happened out there today at Kroger? I'm Detective Franco. You want to talk about what happened? I wasn't. I wasn't. I, wasn't, I didn't go inside. All right. Well, before I talk to you, do you have any warrants or anything? All right, man. So I want to know your side. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning, if you wish one. If you decide to make a statement, you may stop at any time. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me? So You said you didn't go in. So what did you do? I just, when she told, uh, she came, she just told me to help her with the stuff. So you helped her load, right? Huh? You helped her load the I stuff in the car. I didn't know what anything was, what she called. You didn't know she didn't pay for it? Huh? Did you know she didn't pay for it? I didn't know nothing. So you were just there with her, sitting in the car. Just sitting in the car. And she pushed it out and she said, help me load. Yeah, I didn't even know that. And she, you didn't know it was stolen? I didn't even know she stole nothing. All right. Well, we'll get to the bottom of it in a minute. Um, yeah. Hey, he's saying he never came in. Okay. Is that is that kind of is that what it kind of looks like on there too? Yeah, we'd have to prove saying that'd be hard. We'd have to prove that he knew. Did you show them the pictures? So we know like the detergent and stuff, but like, did she get cupcakes and that kind of stuff too? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're we're. Uh, Everything back here on that side's already been scanned in this Kroger. All right. Well, we're scanning. He's using the Kroger app, and he's scanning stuff now to see what uh what is theirs. All right, thank you. So we may not be able to charge him because all he did is help load. But he was with her in the store the whole time. No, he wasn't. They're watching that now. He was out in the car. Oh, okay. Aztec 302, sir. From just a five George Power. Well, I mean, if she's the one that's going to tear you up, it's either uh, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? Because you stole some. You've been. You stole from Target and all that Target stuff. No, not that. Well, if it doesn't end up being stolen, you can get it back. But. TJ Maxx, that's probably where they're from. Well, I don't want right. Just to get the help, we take all the other stores. Well, I haven't gone through everything yet. Well, see, well, here's this. I, you want me to scan that for No. I'll, I'll let Target I mean, deal with that. I'll scan it for... Uh, I haven't scanned so have those. you? Are you scanning all that yeah, stuff? Scanning all is those. it giving you a price? Yeah, yeah, it's giving me a price. But what I'm saying is, is it doing a running price? No. Because no. we're gonna have to know how. Well, once I know what's there, I'll take all. Oh, that. I guess right. yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh. Well, no, it's not totaling, this is it's not totaling it's not total, it. But this is everything I what I'm saying is, it got to total it up so that you have a. Well, I can look at it. Unless she has, unless she's already got criminal history, that's gonna make it a. Hey, are you at work? Yes. 
I can get a hold of Michael. Uh, he might be busy or something. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, we got this girl that I know stole from y'all on at least one occasion. We just got her stealing a bunch of stuff from Kroger. Um, she hit y'all. I think she hit y'all multiple times. She's got a bunch of Target stuff in the car. Do you want to go ahead and bar her to keep her from being able to come back up there? You can do it over the phone. It's yeah. I mean, yeah. That I do this all the time. You know, like I said, it, hopefully she won't come back. But this will just try to maybe keep her away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you on the phone, and I just say that you're Claire, the manager at Target, and she's barred from Target for two years. Okay. Hey, Miss Jones. This is the manager at Target. Uh, Claire, tell her who you are, and that she's barred for two years from the Target. Hey. So my name's Claire. I'm the store manager at Target over on Atlanta Highway, and we are gonna bar you for two years from Target. Our property does go. All the way over from Office Depot, um, Joann's, the entire parking lot except for Hardy's. So you are barred from here for two years. You understand that, right, Miss Jones? You're barred from the Target on Atlanta Highway for two years. All right, hold on, Claire. Yeah, I'll, I'll write that up. Uh, she she's stolen from y'all at least two or three times, and that she's got a bunch of Target stuff in the car that I recovered. So, yeah, and she she's been stealing from everybody, and uh, I wanted to get her barred. No, she's a black lady, and she has like she has like a little silver car with the bumper missing, so she sticks out. But she's been killing y'all, so and kill she tried. She's been killing everybody, and I've been looking for her. So I was like, I got, I got to get her bar. Thank you. Hey, Miss Jones, how many times have you been convicted of shoplifting? Not. You've never been convicted? You don't have three convictions? Did you check her criminal history yet? I got you. Hey, uh, he pretty, but he probably never came in the store, did he? Yeah, I don't see him in the store at all. Yeah, that, I think that'd be kind of hard to charge him, you know what I'm saying? Even though he helped her, how do you prove he knew that this stuff was stolen? Yeah. He's saying he doesn't, but I'll let these guys make that decision out here. But, uh, all right, cool. They're, I think most of the stuff we've determined what is Kroger's. I think they're going to bring it back over there and get a price. Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah, bye. Hey, hey, here's, so he doesn't actually come in the store. He just helps her load it. I don't think we could prove he knew. He said he didn't know she stole it. So I don't think we can charge him. Zero bags. Huh? Zero bags. Yeah, no bags. Well, that's true. That's true. He Well, but he doesn't know she doesn't have a receipt, but you're right. He gets out, helps load it up. None of it's in bags. There's just a probable cause. Whatever. He helps her load it. There's a video of him helping her load it. Like you said, none of it was bagged when they left, right? Who's taking the report? Bradshaw or? I have no idea yet. Thank you. It's M's area. Hey, are you taking this report? Are you? Who's taking the report? So he, he's saying he's saying that he didn't know it was stolen, but she comes out there, none of it's bagged, and he helps her load it. Yeah, there's also a, a um, person that says in the call that the employee was yelling at her, but I don't know when that would have taken place. Well, he's helping her load stuff that's clearly not bagged, okay. and there's probable cause. Okay. Um, have y'all checked their criminal histories yet? Um, not for shoplifting. Yeah. Well, it, they're running it now. I'm going to seize all that stuff since she's, I know she's stolen. She's barred from Target and Walmart, so I'll take care of that later. I don't know. I don't think that's going to be a felony amount, but they may have three convictions. Okay, so, so what about, um, over here. 
Um, Over there. Female there. Okay. So if um, basically ends up being one of those where Kroger's pursuing the charges? Or? Yeah, well, they would sign the... They would probably sign the warrants if it's a misdemeanor. But they, they need to go. So she's been killing us. Yeah, so we're still going to take them. And yeah. Just going to get the push off with the, Yeah. Unless so, he has felony level. Yeah, unless it's felony level. They would both get it. I mean, because like I said, she pushed out. The stuff's not in there, but he's helped her load it. What about next in line? I mean, you can't tow that because it's on private property. Yeah, but it was part of that. Well, it was if you want, but it's one more thing for you to do. All right, guys, I'm going to let y'all handle today's however y'all are. I just kind of wanted her for the, all the other stuff. I'm going to go. I got that other stuff. Thirty-three sixty-nine cents. Mm -hmm. Show me clear from this call. Central, if you will, put me out on a criminal trespass at Walmart. When you get it open, show that same suspect from this theft, or the theft uh, at Kroger, selling Toria Jones. Show her bar from Walmart on Lexington Road for two years. Tires gonna be three poles, not two, and I've got a pole number if you want it. Three, nine, nine, nine. 